Hello. Today, I would like to show off what we have been up to at the Seed Studio office. Uh, recently, we have finished uh, our first phase uh, of a lighting makeover project centered around home assistance. The reason we are doing this or you know how it goes, you know, at the end of the day, our office management team has to do the rounds, uh, checking all the lights and running back and forth just to uh, turn, uh, flip the switches to turn off the lights. Another headache are when we have the visitors uh, to visit us. Uh, the whole tour, the whole tour is like a, a switch hunt from the entrance to this reception table through our uh, little showroom. Then pass the pathway lined with PCB deck body. Then all the way to our balcony to show our outdoor lab for our outdoor products. So switches here, switches there, switches everywhere. But things have gone so much easier with the magic of our this little project. Let me show you how we do this. First, we upgrade all the physical switches to Wi-Fi switches. They have all connected to home assistance. And we have this little gadget, in, which is in, in my hand, and which is called the SenseCap indicator as the smart controller for uh, our lights. It also link up to home assistance through Wi-Fi. And we have developed uh, this control interface with one, two, six buttons on it uh, for lights in different area. In this case, let me show you how we control the light in this reception area. I hit the button, which is called the reception table. Voila, lights off. And if I hit again, lights on. So lights off, lights on, everything with just one single tap. However, I, from my opinion, I think using our SunScap indicator as just as a smart button is kind of waste because it's, um, it's ready and open for developers and professional users. It has two groove connectors in the back. Uh, imagine that you can add a groove uh, air quality sensors in the back. And then place this device nicely on your desk using this device as, a, as an air quality monitoring to give you the real-time updates of your environment. Or you can add a gesture sensor on it to build the hands-free uh, light switch, which means that, for example, I can swipe, uh, you, you, can, you can do the demo that you can wipe your hands to the left and then uh, means that you can uh, turn on or off the light in your reception table. Or even you can add the LoRa connectivity. This one is a LoRa module on our SunScape indicator for those times when Wi-Fi is down. Uh, LoRa means that for uh, area or places like uh, our balcony or your garden or uh, the campus outside this building, that the places without the Wi-Fi, you can still send the command through this secondary uh, pathway. So I think this is uh, all we have done for phase one. And a big shout out to Home Assistant to make this whole process very easy. Then how about phase two? Let me show you. We haven't quite done with phase two, but here's a sneak peek. For our colleagues that do not have the SunScap indicator in hands, we have built this 3D models of our office and they can just simply click the area to control the light at such area. So this is our plan for phase two and at the phase three, we're thinking about to add more components at the field for to get more feedback. For example, probably a light sensor at the field to give the uh, real time updates uh, to, 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 to tell you if you have really successfully turned off the light or an MMWeb sensor just in case that we turn off the light when someone is still there. Um, so I think, yes, uh, this is all for this video. If you're interested in this project, please stay tuned and subscribe to this channel since we are going to keep updated in, in, in with YouTube and uh, keep uh, as, con as we continue to transform our space. And we are going all out open source with our results. So yeah, hoping to help you all have fun.
with your own space transformation or and makeover. And thanks for watching. Bye.